Alright guys, so in this video we're going to finish off the mesh grill. But before we actually get started, I need to show you guys something I made over here. So when you take a look at the... Uh, if you followed my tutorial while making this one, you'll notice that I have two lines in the middle now. You may have had more in there. So what I actually did was after finishing this, I went into edit mode. And you can see there were steps like there was a line in here, there was another one in the middle here, then this one, then another one over here. So what I did was I left the first line and then in the second line I took the edge, the edges in the middle one by one. Like for example, if this was the line that was in the middle here, I took this edge right here and then, no not that one, I took the one in the very middle, the one that dips it down, okay, right down there. And then I dissolved it and then I also took the one next to it, that is this one, also the one down there and then dissolve that. So you can see it makes it flat. So that was what I did with each of those and got rid of the ones in the middle here because I took an, another look at the uh, side step and you can see it's only pretty much two lines there. So that was why I did that and then I did it also to this one. I mean after I finished I actually took these edges right here. When I take this one, let me hide this real quick. Let me hide this one. So I took this one from here all the way to the inner side. So when I go into wireframe all of this Alright, and I press shift and D and then duplicated it and then added in a uh, solidify modifier. So if I bring it back, you can see I added in a solidify modifier here. If I put it off, you can see there's a solidify modifier going on. Now the reason why the solidify modifier is bumping outwards is because I made sure the normals were facing inside, not outside. So this side actually, if you recalculate the normals, it will change the face for you, alright? So when you activate the solidify, it will actually go inside. So I don't want it to recalculate the normals on the inside, so I actually inverted it by clicking on this inside here to make sure it inverted the normals so the solidify is bumping outwards. So that's pretty much what I did over there just to add in that kind of rubber, t rubber seal around it like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for that one. So let's get on into making the front grill, mesh grill. So we're going to begin with this one over here. So let me see. Let me take this one and in that one I'm going to go into local view by pressing the, num the slash on the numpad. And I'm going to go in here press it and S choose Kesa to word origin. And I'm going to add in a mesh plane like that. So let's go into edit mode, pull this all the way up here to about the center like that. And I'm going to add in, let me see, let's add in about four or five here and then five here as well like that okay so you can see they are perfect squares so what we're going to do now is to add in uh or let's subdivide this instead so press w and choose subdivide all right so subdivide this until you think the whole or the space is about the same as the ones here so subdivide it again and i think is that about it okay, i'll just subdivide it one more time yeah, I think that is about it. Well, it doesn't matter if it's too much. I mean, it can be dynamic. So, let's just pull this back forward like this. And let's get into front view. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so it's not bad. Stick the whole thing and then rotate it to about... Okay, make sure your snapping element is set to increment. And then let's rotate this. Hold on control and rotate this. Is it 45 degrees, I think? So, make sure it's rotated 45 degrees by looking up here. So you can see mine is rotated 45 degrees very nicely. So I don't know if the holes are enough though. Is it enough? Okay, I think it is. It should be. Alright, so with that done, um, what we're going to do now is to insert the faces, alright? So press I to insert the faces. Now, you can see what is going on right now. So insert the faces. You can see it's inserting all the way through. So insert it a little bit like that. And then... The options down here just bring them up and then disable, I mean, enable individual. Alright, so enable individual like that, and let's zoom back in like this. Alright, so press after enabling individual, just press Ctrl Z to get rid of that insertion, and then press I to insert it again. Alright, so we're gonna insert it to about the amount of space that we have to be the thickness and the space in the middle of each bar. So let's try this one like this. Then let's delete the faces and let's see what we have. So that about it looks close to it, but the gaps are too small. So let's redo that again. So press Ctrl Z until it brings back your faces, and then let's insert again. So insert again. This time very tiny to 
about there. Press X and delete the faces. And I'm pretty sure this time is good. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. Yeah, so this time is good. So what I'm going to do now is, um, we're going to take this one, alright? And I'm going to duplicate it. Let me get out of edit mode, alright? So let's take this, press shift and ND, move it in Y axis. These ones will be for the bumper below. So we're going to use this to define this one over here. So let's take this one and then let's hide it. Hopefully when we press alternate it comes back, yeah. So press H to hide it. Let me enable this for you guys real quick. There we go. So let's go into front view now. And now we're going to do some cleaning up. So let's go into edit mode. So we're going to go into wireframe. I'm going to clean up all this side all the way to the top. And then all of this side, all the way to this side, and then to that side. I think the quicker way to would be to click about here and drag this all the way to this side, like this. I think that would have been the best. So I want to deselect all of these ones here on the side, like this. And let's see. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna press Ctrl and I, press X and delete the rest of the vertices. And you can see what we have. It's lying right in the middle there. So let's go into front view. I think this one might actually be going way too much. So let's select all of these right here. Select all of these, press X and delete the vertices. I might actually add this one as well. Select all of these, press X and delete the vertices. All right, let's take a look here too. So we're gonna deselect all of these as well. Press X and delete the vertices, nice. So I want to pull this in the Y axis all the way forward. Let's disable proportional editing. And let's pull it all the way forward until it's sitting right behind this one right here. Alright, so let me just take a look. Let's take a quick look. Make sure it's sitting right behind this one. So G and then Y. I want to move this forward till it's sitting right behind it. <coughs> Sorry. Until it's sitting right behind it like that. So that is looking good. Now with that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot this all the way back. Should I pull it forward? No, I think it's enough. So we're going to press E and then Y and then extrude this back about the thickness we're seeing in there. So I think this is about good. Yeah. Yeah, so this is about good. Extrude it in about that, like that, and that is looking good. So what I want to do now is to add in a bevel modifier. So let's add in a bevel modifier. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So add in a bevel modifier and I want to change this to let me see. Uh let me see. None. And I want to change it to let me see. If I increase this. Uh we're gonna have to work around with this. So let me see. Um the bevel modifier isn't exactly working. Oh, well, maybe I'm the one not doing this well. Um, maybe I should. Let me take the, the whole thing and press Control B and let's see what we can do with this. So just press Control B, and then bevel this a little bit like that. All right, let's take a look. Nice. So that was the look I was going for. So just press Control B and then bevel it a little bit like that. So the bevel modifier should have been able to do that for us, but I don't know. I didn't exactly find my way around the bevel modifier in Blender 2.8, so it would actually take some time if I tried to. You know what, let's try it. So let's undo what we did. Let's try to find out how we can do this. So I'm gonna undo everything right now. So let's see. Uh, maybe, I think, none. Uh, width, is a width, I think. Let me increase this to 0.2, just so if it if it happens to come in, I can know. Uh, all, no. Um, let's see. Um. drop it down to point 0.1 and let me see is it I don't think it's angle though I don't know how this works but let's try this let's go in here take everything okay so take everything press N and let's go to tool is it tool or view I'm not sure um edit not edit view let me see should be somewhere here yeah so increase the 
edges bevel weight okay edges data increase the bevel weight all the way to one let's get out of edit mode and let's see if this works so let's change this to weight still doesn't work I'm not sure how this works um, I increased it all the way to one and I'm still not getting anything is there anything I'm doing wrong because this thing should instantly be working just from you know what, let's just bevel this I think that would be best so let's drop the mean bevel width back to one and let's just remove the bevel modifier alright so let's take everything take all of the vertices by pressing A once or twice and press Control and B and then let's bevel this look at the value we're beveling it at make sure you have the precise value I think it's where is it where's the bevel value um, yeah, so that is the width you're seeing down there. So let's try point zero 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 five. That is too much. Point zero 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 three. Point zero 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 five. So uh, is it yeah three zeros? Point zero 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 zero. Point zero 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 five. Three zeros and a five like that. Nice. You know what, I'm going to make it a little bit more. So let's just go back and press Control Z. And let's try this again. So Control B, 0 0.0008. Uh, three zeros, so 0 0.000. Where is it? Eight. Where is it exactly? There we go. So 0 0.0008. Oh, actually, I think that's 0 0.0008. Or let me try one. So point zero zero one actually looks kind of okay. Yeah, so let's go with point zero zero one. Point zero zero one looks good. So after we have that, what we're gonna do now is to deform this. So let's take everything. Oh, let me just let me bring the um let's take this one. Alright. I don't know if this will work. I could just click the middle. I'm not sure. Let's let's take all this one, press shift and S choose Kesel to select it. And then let's add in a lattice. Where is it? Um Where is this? I wanted to make sure this actually fell at the dead center. So you can see it's falling off a little bit if you look at the Z axis line. So what I want to do is let's press Alt and H, alright? I wanna go out of edit mode. I wanna take this circle as well. And then let's go back into edit mode. Uh, I got rid of the other one. Let's take this as well, and that one. Go back into local view, not edit mode. Local view. So let's take this one. Go into front view. Go into edit mode. Select everything once or twice. Press shift and S and choose case it is selected. So we're gonna add in a lattice now. So press shift and A. Click on lattice. And let me just hide this real quick. Hide this as well, and hide this, and hide this as well. So we're gonna take this. Go into front view scale it in the z-axis and we're going to scale it in the y-axis as well so I'm just going to move this in the y-axis S and on y and what I'm going to do now go into the lattice option increase the u to I don't know 4 should be good I think 4 will be good so let's bring everything back by pressing Alt and H first of all let me scale this in the x-axis until it's at the very edge over here <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice alright let's get this going Press S and Z <coughs> and pull this, scale this down also very close to the edge like that. Press Alt and H to bring everything back. Hide this, no, hide this, and hide that. So I'm going to take this one, go into top view, and we're going to bend this as much as this one right here. So let's go into edit mode, take all of this. Let's enable proportional editing, and let's pull this out. Press G, no, press G, increase this, and then Y, and pull this. Okay, it's making it sharp. Let's change the option and see. Inverse square. Yeah, so inverse square works best. So press G and then Y. Drop the fall off. Uh, hold on. I forgot to parent this. So take this and then take that. Press Ctrl P and choose lattice deform. So let's take this now. Let's try this again. So you can see. Let me just drop this down. Drop it down. So I'm going to pull it back until it's pretty close to it. Like that. And take a look. Is it intersecting? 
I doubt it. Alright, so it's not intersecting, so that's good news. Alright, so what I want to do now is to take this one, press M. Uh, we'll move it into the lattice options once we get once we get out of local view, which we're gonna do right now, anyways. So let's get out of local view by pressing the slash on the numpad, and I want to take this one right here, press M and move it into the lattices collection. So you can see this is coming out really nicely. Now the rest that we have over here. The rest of these, this this one that we have over here is for the uh, the bumper. So basically, I'm gonna time lapse this one out because I don't really think I should, you know, video. I mean, uh, record all of that for you guys. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna time lapse it out. It's just pretty much the same way as we did this one, but we might actually not end up bending it because I don't think it has any bend to it. So we might not we might not be applying any lattice deform to it. So let's get started. I said we were not going to be using any lattice deform in this one, but it doesn't look like this one's. It doesn't look like this one is going to work out without one. So we're going to add in a lattice deform just to be able to control this one a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me see. If I take everything first of all, let's take everything and then let's try rotating things around and let's see how it looks. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to help though. So let's just add in a lattice deform. So I'm going to press Shift and S, add in and say Kessel to selected. I want to add in a lattice. So go down here, say lattice, and let's scale this down to here. All right. I want to go over to the top view, get into wireframe. I'm going to rotate this like this. And I want to press S and then Z once. Scale this down to about here. I want to rotate it a little bit more, like that. Then S and then Y, scale this down to there. First of all, make sure your pivoting point is set to I mean your orientation is set to normal alright so with that done uh, what we're going to do now is let me see um, let me go let me take this one and then that one press ctrl p and choose lattice deform so I'm going to go into edit mode of this this one right here and let me get into wireframe first of all let me just increase the u to 1 I want to increase the v as well to 1 like that so I'm going to take that one I took up here this one. I want to move it in a Y or a little bit out like that. I want to take this one as well, pull it in a little bit to there like that. And let me take a look up here. Alright, that looks good. And okay, so let's take these two as well. And then let's pull it out a little bit like that. I want to take these two as well. Pull it out. A little bit like that. I want to take these two now, pull it out a little bit like that. Let's take these two and pull it in a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to match things around here. So let me take these two now. I'm going to move it in a little bit. And let me see. Yeah, so that kind of looks almost like it. Yeah, it's close. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is to add in a mirror modifier to this. So let me just go over here. Press Ctrl and A, say location. I want to add in a mirror modifier. Like that. So you can see it duplicates on the other side very nicely. So when I'm going to edit mode, I want to press Ctrl B to bevel this. The same amount that is 0 0.001. Uh, 0 0.001. Like that. And let's get out of that. And you can see it is looking really good. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Select everything, Control B, 0 0.001. Press Enter to confirm it, and you can see that it's looking great. Very nice. So all that is left is this lower area here. I'm going to leave that side out so you guys can do it on your own. Because I don't want the videos being long. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that off-cam. It's pretty much the same thing if you 
put it in there if you put the uh, grill in there and it's not matching as well just uh, use the lattice to control it but before you actually use the lattice you can take this one and then duplicate it bring it over here trim it just the way you need to and then make sure it fits in there oh uh, you know what I think uh, okay yeah, let's just put a grill there because I wanted us to put a light in here instead be a little bit more you know artistic and all that but let's just maintain the grill because the lights will even be more tedious than the grill so just put the grill in there like that and or if you don't want to put a grill in there you can just fill it with a black uh, plane I want to is quite pretty much I've seen those in bumpers too so you can do that too but uh, I might actually fill it with a grill or I might fill it with a black uh, black surface but whichever one I do I will just let you guys know in the next video so yeah this is what we have now so we just have to take this one and let's get out of local view now so I'm going to take that one I'm going to press M and move it into the lattices collection like that so you can see what we have so far this is looking really really good very nice yeah it's going to come out really nice once we render this so one last thing we do before we actually finish this is to um, rename all the objects in here and in the next video we'll be making the Mercedes-Benz sign in the middle here so I'll go ahead and rename this if you guys want to watch you can watch but if you don't want to watch that's where the video ends for you so the rest of the video is just going to be renaming all the stuff that we just added in so let's do this uh, we're gonna call this one let me open up the main meshes I think this is it no it should be yeah this one so I'm gonna call this the uh, mesh front let's call it the front mesh grill mesh grill or front grill mesh instead front grill mesh and let's take a look at this one so front shell front shell uh, Mercedes Mercedes logo ring front shell Mercedes logo ring alright that's a long name but what the hell so let's take this one I'm gonna call this the actual front shell so this is the front shell but since there are three pieces we're gonna name this upper alright and let's just take all of this press control and C and then press enter now I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna rename this front shell just press control V delete the upper and type in lower like that finally with this one no not lower yeah uh, middle instead so middle and finally this one control V this is the lower nice so that is renamed unless we've already renamed this so let's take this one now uh, let me see I'm gonna call this the front bumper mesh or grill mesh center let's bring the center here instead so front bumper center grill mesh alright so I want to take this one press control Z and press enter I want to take this one press control V I want to change this center to side sides grill mesh like that so I think I'll pretty much do it for renaming but you can see this is coming out really really nicely really 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 nicely it's gonna look really great once we finish so I want to end it in this video I actually wanted this to solidify this uh, front bumper here but I think we've done enough in this video so I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll actually be creating the Mercedes Benz sign and then we'll see if we can actually uh, solidify the front bumper just like we did with the rear bumper so yeah this is where the video will end I'll see you guys in the next video